All right, guys, this one's designed more for our new shooters or our people who are new to concealed carry. So let's check it out. We're talking belts. What makes a good carry belt? Number one, rigidity vertical. If I take this belt and squeeze it, does it bend? Does it bow out, right? Why is that important? Good vertical rigidity, it keeps the gun from leaning and sagging out away from my body, causing me to print a whole heck of a lot more. So that's super important. Number two, horizontal rigidity. Does it keep the belt from bowing and dipping in the middle where all that weight is mounted? If you spend more than about five days carrying a full loadout on a regular leather belt, you'll notice it starts developing this wave pattern. We've ruined the structural integrity and we don't have the secure support we need to access that gun quickly. Number three, adjustability. This belt is great. I have carried in this belt before in the past. It is a leather belt designed to check boxes one and two, but it's not super adjustable. If you overdo it at the buffet a little bit, sometimes it's nice to be able to let her out without having to go into the bathroom and undo this whole thing and rig it out and then re-push it back in, take your gun off, it's a mess. That is why I've been such a big fan of these next belts because it is basically a ratchet system that moves at a fraction of an inch at a time. And as soon as you go in, it locks in. And if you wanna release it, you just press this little button. You can take it half an inch out and it's locked in again. And of course you don't see any of that when it's on the outside. Again, guys, not sponsored by Next Belt. This is just my two cents. I see